A Shave with Chella Aloe Vera. Coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and what's savers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Look around, check out the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, in a previous video review I did on shave soaps, I did an overview of shave soaps, uh, a viewer asked me if I had tried Chella aloe vera formula. And I said I did, and I linked to a, a review I had done. I think it's probably been maybe a year and a half, two years now. And I thought, well, hey, you know what? I haven't shaved with it on camera, so you know what? Good opportunity to have another shave with Chella, Chella aloe vera. <laughs> Say that five times, right? Cella aloe vera, not cello aloe vera. Cella aloe vera. Okay, so yeah, so this is a non tallow soap, has a very clean, fresh scent. Rather difficult to describe, but it is a nice, clean, fresh scent. So we're going to put some hot water on top of this because I'm going to do a, uh, a face lather. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot water on there and kind of get things going. Yeah, like that, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna let that kind of set up a little bit. I'm gonna be using my uh, Vikings Blade Fire Mare Shaving Brush. I haven't used this one in, in quite a while either. And the knot is just perfect for getting into this size container. And I love the handle and uh, the, uh, the metal base and everything about it. So we're just gonna soak that in there like that. Um, my razor, well, my razor is gonna be, once again, the uh, replated. 1964 Gillette Slim Adjustable. This was replated by Razorplate.com. Chris Evett of Razorplate.com did an absolutely spectacular job on it. And uh, I'm going to set this. You know what? It's already set at six. So let's try it at six. I tried it at five first time around. Did a nice job. Let's try it at six. Uh, I'm going to be using Gillette Silver Blue Razor Blade. This is the second use of this razor blade. So I'm just going to drop that in there like that. Close it. Give it a quarter turn to lock everything in. It's at six. We're ready to go. I am going to use the uh, Cube 2.0 to uh, kind of do a preliminary pre-shave routine. Going to finish it off with the uh, Phoenix Shaving uh, Allen Block with the uh, No Slip Grip, the Dry Dock System, and uh, for my aftershave, hey, something else I haven't used in a while. Uh, Avon Wild Country Splash and also some balm for upstairs. All right, so uh, that's got it. Let's uh, wet the face and let's get to the shave. All right, so I'm just going to wash my face with the cube. This is mentholated. It has activated charcoal and formula CK6 ingredients. They'll do a good job of degreasing the face and kind of prepping the beard. And I am also going to use it as a pre-shave. It'll give a nice extra punch to the Chella aloe vera. Okay. That's got it. Let's rinse. Okay. Took me a little time. Took me a little bit of time to really rinse that off, but it feels like it's just about ready. I am going to use this again just to go against the grain and add a little bit as pre shape. Okay, so I'm ready to go there. Let's take this. Let's dump out this water. That should be more than enough to get it going. Here's my brush. Wring that out. 
and uh, I've had this for quite some time and it still still f smells as fresh as the day I got it and I'm gonna load this up again it's a non tallow soap and I'm gonna get a good brush load because I am doing a face lather and I've really been impressed with a lot of the non tallow soaps I've been using I mean really really very very impressed I think Phoenix shaving really leads the pack but there are some of these others that are just really surprisingly good. And this is a good one, too. And again, I love this nice, clean, fresh scent it has. Okay. That's a good brush load right there. Looks like I'm going to have to add a little water, but that's okay. Wow, this brush, just doing a masterful job with this. Boy, nice backbone, splays out nicely for a face lather routine. <laughs> oh, wow! Hey, hey, boom, lather, how about that, huh? And I think that the, uh, the cube helped a little bit. But man, this is, this is nice. And again, I can point out I got plenty on the brush. And I got about a day and a half worth of growth here. Oh man. That's, that's marvelous. That really, really is. Okay, so let's set that over there. Got a little towel to dry off my hands. All right, we're at level six. Everything's locked in. Let's heat this under some hot, 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 hot water. If six is a little too much for me, I'll just back it down to five. All right. Ooh, that's good and hot. I'm gonna swirl it a couple of times, bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's beautifully smooth. That really is. That is really, really wonderful. Wow, that is nice. Boy, that, that is, there's a really high degree of efficiency there. There really is. There's a nice smoothness at level six for me, but uh, I am lightening up on my touch a little bit. A little, little more so than I would say at level five, but you know. If that's possible to do, because I use the light touch throughout the entire shave, regardless of the setting. No, I think I'm. I think I'm probably using the same, the same touch as I do as I do at five. Yeah. I'm probably just being overprotective of myself psychologically. Uh, first pass done. Let's rinse. That's a nice first pass. Wow. Well, here's what we're going to do before I do anything else. I'm going to uh, loosen the, uh, the doors like that. And I'm going to turn this to level five and give it that quarter turn to lock everything in place. And there it is at five. Okay. And then uh, we're going to, I got a little bit in my eye. Hang on one minute. Okay, a little bit of soap in my eye, not a problem. Okay, so we're going to um, lather up for pass number two. The razor's all set to go. A little bit of water on my face is helping out, but I am gonna have to dip the brush in. That's okay.
Wow, that's again the lather just came right back with a little bit of water. Boy, that's terrific. That is a uh, That's a ter that's terrific, terrific, ter look how much I got out of the brush still. That's a terrific, terrific lather again. Wow. Okay, so we are at uh, level five, and we're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the grave. Wow, very nice and smooth. Wow, just really held that contour there very smoothly. No nicks, no cuts. Love the scent. Very fresh. Love it. Oh, this is brilliant. Pass number two done. Let's rinse. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, but you know what? I'm going to lather up. I'm going to do a third pass. I want to just see what kind of feedback I get from the yellow block. I'm done. I mean, it's done. But I'm just going to do a quick third pass at level four. That is uh, all three settings. Uh, right there in the middle of this razor. One, two, and three are ma are, are very, very mild. Uh, four, five, and six are right there in the middle. Seven, eight, and nine are aggressive. So I am hitting all three settings right there in the middle. In the middle. Okay. Look at look at that. That's this shea soap has been wonderful. Wow, this is really great shaving soap. Okay, so let's loosen this up again, and then we're going to just click down once to four, give it a quarter turn to tighten everything. Again, even with my wet hands, that that really uh, tightens very a quarter turn happens very smoothly. Is what I mean. Is what I mean to say. Okay, so there we are at four, and we're going to go with uh, pass number three, south to north against the grain. Okay, got the chin area very well. Third pass done, let's rinse. That, that's marvelous. That's a fantastic shave. That really is. I'm gonna do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Uh, warm water to get rid of the slickness. Cold water to close my pores and uh, kind of move things along. I'll see you after those two rinses. Uh, and uh, next time you see me, I'll be going for my towel here. All right. 
Warm water rinse, and then I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I did a warm and a cold water rinse. Really nice. Menthol gave me a little bit of kick. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that was terrific. Okay, album block time. Let's run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we got. We get <laughs> from uh, three passes here. All right. Smooth as ice. Okay, a couple little zings on the neck. Very minor. Boy, that's terrific. Here is the dry docks. Dry, the dry dock is the dry dock system. The dry dock right there, plenty of ventilation. Just drop that in. Let the uh, air circulating in the room do its thing. It'll dry that out. Wow, that's great. Wow, this has been a terrific shave with this, uh, with this shaving soap. Let me just uh, towel that off because I am kind of like a hippo in a water hole here. I splash around too much. <laughs> I'm going to have to modify my routine not to splash up. I'm going to mop up some of this over here uh, and uh, wipe off this container. Uh, this has been a wonderful shave with... Uh, with Chella. Really, really terrific. And let's take a look at how much I have left in the brush here. Look at that. Look at that. And look at those peaks. Look at that. That is uh, absolutely fantastic. We will clean the brush later. Trust me when I tell you that brush cleans up in a snap. But uh, I'm going to go right to the aftershave. And uh, here it is here, Wild Country. Love this scent. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Not sure if they are still selling it online. They were. They brought it back for a while. So I hope you got some when you had the opportunity to. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, boy, that's good. That's, that's a terrific scent right there. And the balm, same scent. A little bit of moisture. For upstairs, probably going to do a head shave tomorrow. But we are in cold weather season, so I definitely need this. It helps. Also helps for the next head shave. Great shave. Wow, this is fantastic, fantastic shaving soap. Uh, and uh, a great razor to go with it. Love the scent, love the performance. I uh, dare say, <laughs> you know, I am I am slowly becoming a non-tallow soap convert. Now, I like my tallow soaps. I like Tabak, and I like uh, the original cello with the, um, the almond, the cherry almond scent, which I believe is also a tallow-based shave soap. And I like Sterling. Sterling's got some nice tallow-based soaps. But I tell you, these non-tallow soaps are really, really coming on strong. They, they seem to have some great quality ingredients, and they make wonderful, wonderful lathers. Now, yes, Cube 2.0 helped, uh, but hey, you know what? It's the way I do my shave anymore. I like to use the Cube 2.0 as my pre-shave and help set it up, and it gives that extra boost to the shave soap. But, you know, I did a review of this prior to having Cube 2.0, and as I recall, I'll have to look at the video again, but uh, I, th I think it gave a very impressive uh, lather. Uh, but really, this has been terrific. Love the scent, love the performance. Uh, if you're looking for a good non-tallow soap, uh, commercially available on Amazon at a uh, reasonable price, uh, check out Chella Green or the Chella Aloe Vera formula. This was a really, really nice shave. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below and let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comments from George on the cartoons on the videos like this. 
I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready. That's my product page where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize. You can find everything in a snap very easily, including Chella Aloe Vera, which really does a wonderful job in, uh, in giving a very, very nice shave. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.